loves and welcome back to my channel. My name is Angelique if you are new here and this is the first video of 2021. That sounds so weird, but I'm very excited to be here and share with you guys this video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you nine ways to reset your home for the new year. Now, initially I was just gonna do like a clean with me, but I wanted to share with you guys these nine important things that I did while I was deep cleaning and scrubbing the house for the new year. So I hope you find this cleaning checklist helpful. I am going to list all the tools and cleaning products that I use down below in case you are curious. It'll all be down there. But without further ado, let's go ahead and share with you guys how I reset my home for the new year. Let's get cleaning. So the first thing on the checklist is to clean out the fridge. Oh my gosh, this feels so good. I took everything out. I scrubbed all the shelves, checked all the expiration dates, and reorganized everything. This is a must when resetting your home. The second thing on our list is to clean the baseboards. I absolutely hate doing this, but it needed to be done. P.S. I highly recommend using the scrub brush that I got from Target. The bristles are soft enough so they won't scratch your walls, and it works so well on the baseboards. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm very glad I did every baseboard in the house. It looks so much better. Next up, we're gonna clean under all the big pieces of furniture. Yes, you heard me. That's shelves, dressers, the dining table. No, it is not fun and I try to get out of this, but I knew it needed to be done because I needed to get to the baseboards and dust under everything so that way I knew the house was spotless. The fourth item on our list is to clean all filters and fans. I have to say, this is very satisfying. Now, I do this on the first of every month, so it shouldn't be too bad, but again, since I was scrubbing the house, I figured I would just go ahead and get it done, so that way I knew everything was dustless. Now, when I clean the fans, I use a wet rag to get off all the dust, and then I use a magic eraser to get off any dirt residue. The next task on my cleaning list is to scrub the doors. Now, this is not fun, and I actually only do this twice a year, but we have slatted doors, and our house gets super dusty so the dust will just settle on every slat and it drives me nuts and instantly it made the house look much cleaner once I finished the doors again I use the same scrub brush that I used to clean the baseboards to get into the slats and it worked like a charm Number six on our list is to organize and clean under the beds. This is a big task for sure, but very satisfying. I took everything out from underneath the bed, vacuumed, mopped, and then reorganized everything before I put it away. It's amazing how much dust actually collects under a bed. Number seven is to deep clean your washer. Now I do run vinegar through my washer about once a week, but I wanted to try a washing machine cleanser. So I picked one up from Target, set my washer on the clean cycle, and let it do its thing. Number eight on the checklist is possibly the most satisfying thing. I'm constantly magic erasing the walls, floors, and all the marks in the house. Everything in our house is pretty much white, so this is a must, especially with our paint. For some reason, it likes to hold on to every mark, so I thoroughly went through the house, did the walls, doors, baseboards, floors, and even the dining table. Highly recommend and very, very satisfying. Something you might not think of doing is actually magic erasing your door frames. You won't believe what I was able to get off of the door frames. All right, we have made it to the last item on the checklist. Number nine is to deep clean and reset your living room. That means move everything out of your living room, mop and vacuum under the couch, vacuum the rug really, really well, fluff all your pillows, vacuum all your pillows, wash all your blankets. This is definitely a task for sure, but so satisfying. If you are doing a full deep clean, do not miss this step. It'll be so nice to reset and replace your living room. I am very happy I did it. P.S. I did not let anyone sit on that couch for about an hour because it looked so good, all fluffed and perfectly placed. Well, loves, there you have it. Those were the nine things that I did to reset my home for the new year, and it feels so good knowing that there is no dust, there's no fingerprints, there's no marks on the walls. There is not one thing out of place, and it makes me feel so good starting off the new year with a full reset. So I highly recommend doing that if you have not done so already, and I hope you guys enjoy this little checklist, as well as all the products and tools that I linked down below. And also, if you guys have any questions about cleaning or anything that I did today in this video, feel free to ask me down below I'd be happy to answer any questions that you do have. And if for some reason you guys are not already subscribed, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you guys along on our journey. I vlog and share our life here in Hawaii. I talk about home decor and cleaning videos. So of course, I would love to have you guys. Not to mention, I am gonna be doing some organizing videos like going through every little nook and cranny in my house and sharing some tips with that. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. <laughs> but that is it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.